you can all hear guys uh awesome free chat day yesterday i want to take a quick minute and thank you guys for coming in and watching me do what i do as you guys know i do a free chat day every few weeks let people get an idea of how i trade how to really see the market action you know there are so many chat rooms out there that just kind of post some pics and go for it you know my chat room i'm on screen share and video just like this walking people through exactly my thought process on the trades but then trading live like you know entries exit stop losses that kind of thing and we crushed it yesterday and i wanted to do well, everybody in the free chat day was asking me hey can we talk about some of these patterns that you took we were five for five yesterday which is not a daily occurrence it just happened to be that the market was giving us sweet opportunities to the short side as i wanted to go over these peloton mdr netflix biib i mean we have jane uh we were really really having some fun yesterday so let me recap these because these are very very important patterns to learn so the first trade that we took was in this peloton which is like a, just a nasty looking stock. So Peloton is that bike company, right? Where they got the videos and the bikes. You can see what's happening with Peloton over here. This is very normal for IPOs right now. All these IPOs are breaking lows. They're breaking down from their IPO lows and they're just flushing it. So right off the bat, and I walk everybody through what I do in the pre-market. So, you know, 9 a.m. I'm gonna get on and we're gonna talk about essentially what the game plan is on the particular stock. So when I see a pattern like this, what my first thing that I wanna do is take a green to red trade. What a green to red trade is, is if there's any morning strength on the stock, so you can see the stock close at like 22.30. Do you guys see that from the previous day? So if you get a spike up in the morning and I want a really light spike. So I like, I want like 30, 40 cents, not like a gap of like two, $3 that negates the pattern i repeat that negates the pattern so if i get a spike up on the stock as soon as it goes green to red i want to take this thing so we shorted this thing at like 22 22 30s it looks like 22 33 and my stop loss is essentially going to be right above you know this high and hopefully i can get this thing down into the ipo low so right off the bat you want to do is like so you get a target Kind of look and see where the supports are on the daily chart. You can look at an hourly chart. You'll get an idea of the support. And then it's just a matter of scaling out. So, you know, I scale out in half and then one fourth, one fourth. So I take three scale outs when I get myself a trender. And, you know, we ended up getting out as I was scaling out. We ended up getting out of the last shares around down around here. So I ended up being a pretty good trade. You know, I ended up taking a dollar on my uh, last year. So I got out 21.47 a few and then 21.15 uh, covered up the last one. So I ended up being a really, really good trade, just solid because the risk on it was very small. When you take a trade and remember this, write this down. When you take a trade, if you do it correctly, there shouldn't be any moments in the trade where you're really down on it. A good day trade should work right away. If it doesn't work right away or close to right away, it usually means that you have made a mistake in your analysis and in your market timing of the trade. You may have the right idea, but you have the wrong execution. So when you are day trading, I usually give it like 30 seconds, one minute. And if I don't see it moving the way I need it to move, then there's a shot that I have misanalyzed it and I may need to tighten up my stop loss or give myself a time stop. For those of you guys that are not familiar with a time stop, a time stop is, okay, I'm in a trade and I'm going to give it X amount of time to work out. If it doesn't, then I realize that I made a mistake on the timing of this and whether the pattern or the stock is negated doesn't matter. I'm not going to sit on dead money because dead money is no money. So that becomes really, really important. The next trade we took was on this Netflix. Netflix, we actually took a couple times. So Netflix has been a really, really nice kind of mover. So the first trade I took on this, and this is like a, just a classic opening range pull. So 
go to like a two minute chart and what you'll see is you know on netflix like you got this gap down you got a big flush at the open i do this every day uh, every day so what i want to do is like i don't want to short this thing near lows so it's, i'm waiting for the first pop as soon as i get the first pop and i break back under the vwap i want to take this thing short for a scalp or a quick trade now remember if you're trading on like two minute charts or shorter anything shorter than five minutes you're going to really be trading in small time frame so as we got this thing kind of spiked down i covered half and then i got stopped out half on the other my last half so you know, it ended up being like an okay trade. short 2170s i covered half at 20 268.81 so i got three points out of the first half but then the next half i got i had to cover up on this bad boy the good thing is i ended up shorting it again so an opening trade means that you may have to take it multiple times the first trade if it's on a very small time frame is going to be a scalp so you end up taking two three points or if it's like a hundred dollar stock one or two points fifty dollar stock 50 cents to a dollar and then you have to regurgitate it and get back in as the pattern starts to tighten up so later on as netflix started to pop back into its ma's and it broke back under the VWAP. We reshort this thing because now I have confirmation and it's a very simple pattern. Wait for it to pop in the MAs, reshort as it breaks under the EMAs, and then now you got yourself a nice push down too. I ended up covering half into the flush and then, you know, I made a mistake actually. This was probably my main mistake of the day. As this stock started to kind of creep its way back, you know, I ended up covering this thing my last half, like you can see right here. I ended up covering my last half at 270.70s, and that was right, you know, before a little bit before 1030, right into the VWAP. So I ended up missing like $4 on this last half because my stop loss was too tight. One thing to do, like when you're like making a trade and you have some profits, like we never want to give back profits as part of the game. But we have to make sure that like we're trailing our stop losses to the right time. So we know that Netflix is a, a large cap stock. It's reacting a lot to the VWAP. My stop loss really on my last half should be like kind of like in this 2150, maybe even 271 range. I can't put it at 270, 70 because that's under the VWAP. So the VWAP is going to be a magnet this time of day during the middle of the day. So I consider the first hour the beginning of the day, anything in the middle of the day, that VWAP is going to be a magnet. That's when you got to be really careful. So I should have put my stop loss over here. That would really help out because now I've got an extra few dollars that I can take on it. Why did these few dollars matter on my last half? Trading is just a game of inches. Those few hundred dollars that you make on like that you could have got extra on a really small mistake it adds up over the course of a month you make a 200 300 mistake even if you're having a really good day on your other trades it adds up you do 200 dollars one day 200 dollars another day even if you're making a thousand two thousand dollars those small mistakes they add up over the course of the year you know you start adding them up and it's like wow i just made kind of a thousand dollars in really innocuous small mistakes over the course of a week four thousand dollars over the course of the month Trading is a game of inches. We're always playing around on the edges. And it's those small edges that determine whether you're going to have a good year, a great year, or an awesome year, or even a bad year. There's a thin line. When I talk to my students and I'm working with people one-on-one, -on -one, one thing that I've noticed over the years is there's a very thin line between a trader that's losing consistently a little bit and a trader that's making a little bit of money. That difference between the person that's just kind of losing like a hundred bucks a day versus making a hundred bucks a day is half a mistake every day, you know, a quarter of a mistake every day. And those mistakes, they add up over the course of a week. And that really determines whether, you know, you're gonna be a successful trader or not. So really think along the edges. We had an awesome trade in JNUG. I covered this a little bit early because Frankly, I had to go to the bathroom. I've been holding it in for the whole morning. I, we took a short in JNUG uh, 5537. So I trade JNUG all the time. This is a gold ETF. <clears throat> you can see with JNUG, like you popped up at the 
popped up in the morning. Now, once you get into this midday, I move back to the five minute chart. So you pop up in the morning and you pop up, you make a lower high. Essentially what I'm looking for is this breakdown of this level from the previous day. And that coincides with the breakdown of that day's low. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. You know, a lot of times we make trading like really, really complicated where we're like, we got these indicators and we're scaling in and we're like low float, high float, this float, that float. And it doesn't have to be so complicated when you're looking for a $1 rip, $2 rip, so on and so forth. It's just about really simple patterns, understanding momentum and where it comes in and then tab trade. So as we broke down this level, I took a short on it, put a stop above the nine EMA. My risk on the trade at 55.37 was like 40 cents. The reason it was even as high as 40 cents was that I was a little bit late on the trade by 12 cents. I should have shorted at 55.50. There was a spread on JNUG and I was fiddling around with everybody in the chat room talking some crap. So I missed it by 10 cents. I should have been closer to 55.50 with the stop loss of 55.75. That would give me a 25 cent risk. If you're a small account trader and you can only do 200 shares, you've got $50 risk. That's great. You have $50 risk with the ability to make maybe one or two points. That's the type of stuff that adds up. How can I make $200, $300 by risking $50 to $75? If you can repeat and rinse that over the course of a few days, now you're ready to roll. So I took this thing short. Into this big flush right around 54, I took half off the table. And then I put a stop over the 9 EMA and I had to like literally run to the bathroom. And I'd been holding it for like an hour and a half. So I put a stop at the 9 EMA and I came back and I literally got stopped at 54.75 and it tanked like another dollar 25. So my bathroom break cost me about 500 bucks on that one. That's the price you pay sometimes, isn't it? I probably should have just taken all my profits, but. You know, I wanted to see if I had a chance to like let this thing go. So these are some of the trades that we're taking in the chat room, guys. We very rarely, you know, mess around with anything that's high risk. It's just a matter of taking really steady gains over and over. And you'll see, like, I'll trade even some small caps here and there uh, on the short side. But a majority of the things is just about movement. It's about understanding range, getting stocks that have big volume and looking for low risk entries. For those of you guys that were in the free chat day, I got two special offers for you guys. Check your emails and I'll make sure to put a link in this video so that you guys can come in and take advantage of it. I look forward to seeing all you guys in a little bit in the chat room. I got a good day planned for us. We're going to go out and make some money, do what we do. And if anybody's just brand new to trading, you know, we run 60 day boot camps that are designed to take people from A to Z on everything we need to do. So, be mindful of those things. And you guys feel free to hit me up. Leave any comments or you can always email me, K-U-N-A-L at B-U-L-L-S-O-N dot W-S. If you like the video, give me a little thumbs up. I'll see you guys on the other side.